morning guys, it is a beautiful day, and man, you know, I just kind of woke up this morning and wanted to do something for myself. For those of you guys that don't know, my hobby besides doing all this is cars. I love vehicles, doing anything with vehicles, and I want to really just focus on my car today and get some stuff cleaned up on my car, maybe throw some wax on it. It's not really that dirty right now, I actually just cleaned it the other day, but I want to fully go through and clean every little piece of it. Me working on my car is like therapy for me, I just love coming out here, wrenching on it, and I don't know, it's just kind of a little getaway for me. And I thought I might share a little bit with you guys. We got some stuff going on later today. We got to go to some locations. So come journey on with this with me. I'm going to film a little bit of it and let's get right into it. I think it looks great. I spent about three hours on it total, which I think for some people might be like, that's uh, ridiculous. But for me, it's my only time I get to just relax. I only do this maybe like once a month. But I gotta go cut grass. It's like 30 degrees out, but I got four acres to cut just on like the south side of my lot. I also got this coat on, which is sweet. It's got a battery pack in it. So you put the DeWalt battery in here and it keeps it nice and warm, which is awesome. I'm gonna put my drone up in the air because last time I did some drone shots of me cutting some grass, there was a handful of people that seemed to like it. So I'm gonna do that. And after I cut some grass, we're gonna go out there and make some money. So let's go. Well, it's cold. <clears throat> so that really ends my mowing for the day. My mower's broke, something's wrong with it. So you set the height on how high you want to cut the grass. So usually I cut it at like three and then I'll be hitting bumps and the deck is slowly keeps moving down and I'm like scalping the yard. So it's like every time I make a pass, I have to like put the deck up, reset it and it's just got really annoying and it's like really cold. So I gotta take it in <clears throat> and get that fixed. Hopefully before December hits or it snows cause I still gotta cut a good portion of my yard. Deck isn't even like a level. So we're gonna figure that out, but I'm gonna wrap up stuff here and we're gonna go uh, start doing machines. Are you gonna be at the laundromat? 
All right, guys, so here is the location that we're at, the laundromat. I got a crane game here, and I got a coin pusher here, and I actually got to fill this up. We're not going to take any money out of either of them just because I did earlier this week. I'm just here to reset them, clean them up, make it look better, so let's do that right now. Whatever is in here is going to be for just about a week. Actually, I think it's like five days. Let's check it out. Oh, my gosh. That's actually really good for this machine. I'm not going to lie. It usually doesn't make that much. That is awesome. But I think it also gave out a 50. I think there was a 50 in here and it gave that out. So that's a good chunk of the quarters that are down there. I usually like to take all the money off the play field. Let's test the claw machine out. Make sure the claw machine is working. I think we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go for the crane with a $10 bill attached to it. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, that might. Yeah, no. Yeah, man, for sure. Hold on, guys. I've never ran into a YouTube fan instead of a laundromat before. That is a first. All right, guys, it's all set up. Why do I put all the money on the edge? I put all the money on the edge, honestly, because I, I don't know. I don't need to make a huge profit off this. This is the way I look at it. I have about 60 bucks in cash here. I'll probably make about 80, 90. I owe the owners 25% of that. I turn around and make a $40 profit. The claw machine never does as good as the coin pusher, but we'll check it out. Well, hey, you know what? That's actually not bad. Check that out. We got the claw machine right here, and then we got the uh, claw machine cash right here. Check that out. That is really sweet. And asked what? They came in. I'm never gonna get any So they okay. said I should have been shot. Threatened. They, they, they looked in here and they said, she comes over and she says, I keep telling them about these quarters and they won't do anything about it. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, they're dirty. And I said, I said, he doesn't wash the quarters before he puts them in the machine. I said, but I do know that he comes in and takes, you know, you come in and take I take quarters out. out right? Yeah. You know? And so she, so she's over here with her boyfriend and they're, Baker and back and forth, and she goes, right. The guy who owns this machine should just be shot. That's the problem. And I'm like, Damn. Can you imagine your life being that low that you have to threaten a guy that runs an arcade game in a liquor <laughs> store? No. That since I don't clean the quarters that go in there, like I have any control of the quarters that go in there, <laughs> that I need to get shot. That is great. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been threatened before because my quarters were dirty. I actually don't think I've ever been threatened in my entire life. Because I guarantee you those people that threatened her, that threatened me, would never say that in person. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I wrong for not taking my time to take out the quarters that are dirty in the machine? I don't know, leave your suggestion down below. That is crazy. All right, next location. All right, I'm at one of my favorite locations because it's right across the street from a Hungry Howie's and they have the best pizza ever. I don't care, don't argue with me. But I always come here, order pizza, go service my machine right there, come back, pick the pizza up, eat it, keep work. There's sticky notes all over this guy's car. That's crazy. All right, guys, so there's this coin pusher right here. Got to get into the change machine. This one did really good. This one's been for over a week, though. Just like that, got third coin pusher of the night. All done. Also, before... All right, so it is currently 10 o'clock at night. It is, okay, this is freaking distracting. I have a waterfall thing display in my office. It's nice to edit too, but I can't talk to a camera and hear it in the background at the same time. I'm filming this probably literally 15, 20 minutes before it gets uploaded to YouTube. If you guys remember in yesterday's video, I said I had some big news. The other day I had social services come to my house and my house got fully approved for the adoption. We're talking like the water temps, the everything, like the beds, the plugins, the whatever you, I don't know, all the stuff that needs to be approved. And so I got fully approved, but that took up so much of my time trying to get all this stuff ready last minute for my house. It's not that it wasn't ready last minute, it was just there was a couple extra things I needed to do that happened last minute. So yes, it's huge deal for me. I got fully approved. We're good to keep moving forward with this. I'm sorry if I'm not super enthusiastic right now. Cleaning my car, cutting grass, doing machines, even though the video may not seem like it, it's been an 18 hour day. <laughs> Oh wait, also, I'm not uploading tomorrow. I'm not uploading on Sundays. Sundays I take off, I don't work on Sunday. I wake up, go to church, come home, chill out. So I will not be uploading tomorrow. So I'll see you guys Monday. Thank you guys for watching.